Hello, Brookboy219 here, and today I'm showing you how to get Minimator on a Mac OS X. You may see some other videos um, using a dot app. Yeah, that doesn't work, unfortunately, that well. Some people are lucky, but it takes for to load. <coughs> this one doesn't, so let's get right into it. First, you want to download the Minimator.zip from the description below extract it you'll get a minimator folder inside that minimator folder is installed installation extensions we don't need that at all and minimator version 0.6.2 or whatever version it is so we're going to open that, or a wiser idea is just to drag it out, open it up, you'll get this. You'll get um, a change list here of I deleted that. You'll get animations folder, other folder, schematics folder, skins folder, and craft fortress 2 folder. So the other thing you'll see is minimator.exe. Note you will need Xquartz, aka X11, for this to run. Wine and Wine Bottler. Maybe I'm not sure about Wine Bottler, but I just install it just in case. So you're gonna open up minimator.exe. You'll get this if you've installed it correctly. Say so one up. You're about to open a one file. What would you like to do? Is you're gonna click Run Directly, and instead of converting simple OS X application to one with one bother, don't choose that. That is weird. Doesn't work. Just choose this. Click Go. Another thing to note: um, does not work if X Quartz is on. does not work. It will crash on you. Do not do that. So make sure that's exited out. Run directly in. Go. And um, it'll load exports. You'll see a little gray bar, bar in the middle of the screen. If you have tried the other ones, you know that that is a loading screen. It's just glitchy and it doesn't show it right. And there it is, Minimator. Everything works properly. So, um, just to choose, I'm going to place everything, every single kind of thing. I'll just choose a helmet, I guess. Um, add. And if we, um, Might be able to see it a little bit there, so if we click this, um, there's the helmet. And we also add blocks here. So here we have um, a grass block. I can change this to a sponge. Also change this to something else. So I'm going to change this to some cobblestone. I'm gonna click special block. That'll be something like um, chest. So we can also 
um, to the different one, say piston. You also do um, a large test, which will spawn that. You can, the cool one is an arrow. The good thing about it is it's just going to be a floating arrow. You can also add um, the scenery. Looks schematic. Look, this is this all looks like windows. That's the cool thing. Like schematics and um you sweet ship. It's creating three D model and come on. You can do it. There you have it. It's literally a 3D model. It's a Swedish ship. Get out of here. See the outside. Well, it seems like my meter is a little laggy. I'm sorry about that, but um, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you some other time.